weather show, Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into viewer sending photos before we get into some wintry weather. Taking a look at Derek Rentschler from Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. I'm going to be quiet for a few seconds here because he's got some thunder snow. Here it is. As you can see, thunder snow was crossed the Lebanon County, Pennsylvania area and Derek Rentschler was able to capture it. We haven't had very much wintry weather this winter, but thankfully you've had a little bit here as you can see. So thank you Derek Rentschler for capturing that thunder snow, a very rare commodity, especially this winter. Keep it up. Let's take a look at uh, Lucas D from Linden, Texas, taking a look at his little clip it from his first video here from last time, looking at the very brisk conditions, very beautiful. Look at all that cumulus clouds and cumulo stratus clouds in the background here very brisk day across the linden texas area and of course he does capture some fireworks here at night take a look at the firework action here in linden texas so thank you lucas for sending this these videos as well and i'll continue with your videos next segment as you've sent in quite a few so let's get right into the forecast taking a look at the precipitation totals we've got some out here on the west coast back east coast too but here's the problem there's not going to be a lot of phasing going on between the southern stream jet and northern stream jet. There'll be enough to get some New England snow, and but I'll have further details on that. Taking a look at the pattern here, we're starting to ridge a little bit out west, although we still get, as I said, those Pacific Northwest systems rolling in on the southern and between the southern and northern branch. Take a look back east here. We got the trough, but the problem is the southern branch is not cooperating. It's not really phasing up with the northern jet so a lot of these southern systems head out to sea the northern systems don't have a chance to phase let's get right into the snowfall totals across the northeast as you can see your eyes really draw to east of lake erie and lake ontario those are going to be with lake effect snow after the departing what could have been a nor'easter but it's more or less an open wave system with an alberta clipper style system but nevertheless we will have some lake effect kicking in sunday night monday monday night tuesday tuesday night and this could account for quite a few feet of snow east of lake Erie, lake ontario south of buffalo north of syracuse even syracuse and buffalo getting in on the act here across northern new england take a look at that we are looking at some very Interesting snow totals from the Adirondacks, the Berkshires, White Mountains, up to Maine. We could get a general four to eight inches of snow out of this synoptic scale system. As I said, there won't be a lot of phasing going on, so it's not going to be a blockbuster nor'easter. But nevertheless, we'll have that low spin off off the coast, but we will also have this primary low here continuing to eject through the eastern Great Lakes. Taking a look at the tropics, this is very strange for this time of year. Hasn't happened since the 1930s, 80 years back. Take a look. This is what is now Tropical Storm Alex ejecting north of the Azores, hitting the Azores as a Category 1 hurricane during the early morning to mid-morning hours of Friday. 90, 85 to 90 mile per hour sustained winds. This was quite a system to behold. It is the first named system of the 2016 tropical weather hurricane season. This is really remarkable. It's January. I know this isn't hurricane season, but Alex has opened up the door here to potential continuation of tropics. So this is a very rare commodity for this time of year. Let's get right into those surface maps, starting off with your Saturday. Look at this across the Northeast. We're dealing with mostly rain back West here, Binghamton, Buffalo, Cleveland, London, Toronto. It's back East here the Adirondacks up through northern New England, where we get into those four to eight inch snow totals. It doesn't go too far north of the Canadian border though, as, as I said, we don't really have that system, that coastal system you see down here. It's more or less kind of off the coast here, a little bit too far, and it's not enough to phase these two systems together as you see right east of Lake Ontario here. But nevertheless, we will see moisture with the system. It'll be mostly gone by mid-morning across the Susquehanna River Valley into the Hudson River Valley by early afternoon. But here in northern New England, you see towards Maine, those general four to eight inch snowfall amounts getting in onto your Sunday, taking a look at the northeast, pretty much clearing out, except for these lake effect snow bands, really orienting themselves across east of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario and even the northern Great Lakes. You got that Georgian Bay connection that could really set up 
here across southern Ontario into the Ont Lake Ontario region. And temperatures really falling off here for your Monday as well. Take a look at Monday. Really cold, bone chilling cold. We got that trough of low pressure, another short wave moving through. And that will kind of push the lake effect snow bands a little bit west, northwest, or even northwest here. And temperatures really cooling off. Look at we're looking at teens across most of the area, even some single digits here in Southeast Canada into Tuesday. Take a look at this. We continue with the lake effect snow bands, but they're really oriented more from the Northwest. So places like Syracuse, south of Buffalo, places like Erie, maybe even Cleveland could get in on the act of some lake effect snow. Staying very wintry like, but we don't have any coastal systems to tell you about to phase with the northern jet stream branch at this time. In 10 seconds, I'll have a five-day outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's Upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark, comment Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus at MediaMark. Here's your five-day Saturday. Get that rain, maybe some wet snowflakes in the higher elevations heading up towards 40. Not much of a winter storm to behold. Sunday, we start to fall off get into the around 30 but look at this monday sunday night monday the lake effect snow showers potentially kick in we could have some lake effect snow showers more on monday night and tuesday maybe up to an inch possible into wednesday we really reinforce the wintry air but no major winter storms expected that's going to do it for this edition of weather northeastern